Hey everybody, this is Ash for the Triple S League with a guide on fighting Architects in Mass Effect Andromeda. Architects are massive remnant enemies that you encounter on various planets, and uh, you encounter a handful of them in the game in a variety of different settings. They're very tough enemies, but all of the fights follow the same basic pattern. So once you're familiar with what's going on, the fights get a lot easier. Still, you should be prepared to hunker down for a fairly long fight. Not a bad idea to scout the area in advance for ammo and health. There's usually quite a few scattered around the area where you're fighting the Architect, but they're not always necessarily easy to find when there's all sorts of chaos going on, which uh, these fights uh, tend to be very chaotic. So not a bad idea to just really keep in mind where those are, maybe mark them on your map. If there's a forward station nearby, which there is in the, in the fight on Eos, that can be very handy because you can resupply there whenever you need to. So like I said, all of the Architect fights follow the same basic pattern where it iterates through a number of phases in which there are different things going on. There are three main phases to the fight. The first phase is where you're attacking the legs and you have to destroy the conduits in all three of the legs in order to win the fight. Phase two is where the Architect will summon reinforcements and you usually have to clear all of those out in order to carry on with the fight. And phase three is where you're attacking the head, which is the main conduit that you need to destroy in order to win the fight. But they don't just cycle through the three phases, one, two, three, one, two, three. For example, fighting the architects on Vold and on Eos started out with the same pattern. Legs, reinforcements, legs again, then head, then reinforcements again. Not sure if that was a coincidence that they both started out that way, or if that's always the pattern, but you need to be prepared to switch it up on a moment's notice because the phases switch very rapidly and sometimes you find yourself in a bad position for the next phase because you're not expecting it, which is part of the challenge of the fight. It can be very easy to lose track of which phase you're in. Sometimes your companions will, will get a hit in or something that causes it to cycle to the next phase of the fight and you're not expecting that. So keep an eye on your uh, quest indicators up in the top right corner of the screen That'll tell you what you're supposed to be doing at any given time. That'll tell you what phase of the fight you're in. Also, your companions will constantly be commenting about, you know, what, what you should be doing. Target the legs, target the head, or um, it's making reinforcements. Now, you will not be able to destroy the conduit in the head until after you've destroyed all of the leg conduits. Once you destroy the first leg conduit, the architect is going to pull up out of the ground and fly off to a different location and it's going to plant itself again. And uh, then you basically do the entire thing over again attacking the second leg and it'll it'll cycle through all the phases of the fight again. But uh, during the sort of interlude while it's flying off and finding a new place to land, this is a good time to stock up on ammo, regenerate your health, basically just regroup yourself. And then you're right back into it. You do the same thing, destroy the second leg, it'll fly off again. And after you destroy the third leg, then you'll be able to destroy the head conduit. And that's the end of the fight. The architect will collapse. You need to run up to the head and interface with it. That'll sort of shut it down, put it in standby mode. And then it's going to fly off and actually wind up in orbit above the planet. And you can actually go and take a look at it in your ship afterwards and uh, collect some research points from it. But it's in a docile state here, it's in sort of a standby mode, and it's just going to sit there, not cause you any more trouble. Now, during the actual fight, your strategy is going to change up, obviously, depending on your, on your playstyle. But the key is avoid getting hit. I mean, that may sound kind of self-evident, but it's very good at keeping track of where you are, and it has some very powerful weapons. Especially when you see this black stuff starting to swirl around you, you want to get the hell out of the way. Because it's it's targeting its very powerful main gun at you, which does a ton of damage. With my character here, it completely obliterates my shields. And then if you get hit again by something else, that's going to do a lot of damage. So unless you're really tanky and have super defensive capabilities, I would recommend just don't stand there and let yourself get hit. That main gun can hit you even when you're behind cover, so once you see that it's charging it up and it's about to attack, you gotta move. Get out of there. Some of its other weapons it has, it has these energy cannons, it'll fire clusters of grenades. Again, you just wanna try and avoid being hit. 
Avoidance and uh, Stealth are your allies in this. It's very, very good at keeping track of where you are. If it's targeting you, its head will track you no matter what you do, no matter where you go. So do everything you can to move around and not get hit. Use your Stealth Fields, use your Evade ability, use anything else you have. If you do take some damage, get to cover, get somewhere safe, get yourself patched up before you enter the fight again. It's not worth risking the entire fight to just go for the quick kill. You gotta take your time, you gotta be strategic. It can get very chaotic, especially, you know, when you're trying to avoid the Architect blasting you, while at the same time fighting other Remnant, while at the same time trying to find ammo or health because you're low on one of those things. So, wait for a good opening, hit it as hard as you can, but you don't want to take a lot of unnecessary risks because it can take just a couple of hits to kill you. And this is normal difficulty that I'm demonstrating here. So it's more important to be strategic and stay alive than to go for the quick kill. And on Vold, it gets even worse because you've also got the cold hazard that eats away at your life support. And so every minute or so, you're looking for one of these heat lamps uh, so you don't start taking damage from the cold. So this one is probably the most difficult architect fight for that reason. Interestingly, it was the first one that uh, I encountered, and it might be the first one you encounter. But you can put it off if you want. Uh, you can see the architect flying around in the distance before you actually start fighting it. So unless you're feeling particularly brave, you might want to put that one off until you've had some practice fighting an architect on one of the other planets. Other than that, there's not much to say about these. It's a, it's a very interesting boss fight. It adheres to the classic rule of shoot the glowy thing. And uh, I, I find them a lot of fun. Hope you found this guide helpful. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton when you do that. Check out this video. It's one of our favorite things that we've done so far on our channel. And here's some more stuff you might like. See the description below for links to our Mods on Nexus mods.